Hey, Orange One here. So I want to show you guys this game called Imperion. It's basically like a Minecraft in space is what you can kind of think of it as. I'm going to just join a single player game um, or make a single player game. I wanted to honestly just kind of show you some of the stuff that you can do in the game. So I'm not going to do survival. I'm going to go to... Um, Let's go creative. Just like, I, I kind of want to show you guys like the build stuff. So empty world, no. I want I want some stuff that's already around. And let's start on. <laughs> we could start in orbit, or we could start on a planet. I'll show you. I'll show you orbit. We'll start on a temperate planet. Um, sure. That sounds good to me. Um, I guess allow access. Okay, that's kind of weird. I've not seen that with this game before. I don't think. So yeah, basically this game I've, I've had for forever. I've played it occasionally here and there, but it's honestly the best part about it for me. It's like how it's like Legos, and you can just build a ton of ships. I was thinking about doing a series of videos where I take mods of things people have built and I review them and just kind of give them some publicity. And let me know if you'd like to see some of that. Um, but for now, basically what we got right here is we... I honestly haven't played this game in like forever. So if you're expecting someone who knows the controls, sorry. This is, uh, it's been like months. So I have a ship there and it looks like I've got a little station here. And I remember there's something about a jetpack, but I've forgotten exactly how that works. But I do remember you need to like hold down like Z or X or something. C, that's it. C goes down and then space goes up. Okay, yeah, so I can go up and through here so this game all the stuff you can build all the stuff that you're seeing right here is stuff that you can actually build in game and you just need like the right tools um and you can have all kinds of stuff built in in these things like little elevator shafts and um you can like store food that's why well, it just takes all that food Let's just, uh, let's take it all. Yeah, we got the cheese and the milk. And there's, as you can see, all kinds of random stuff in this little base that has been built. Now, um, there's also, like, food. It's it's basically, it's Minecraft, honestly. If you, if you know how to play Minecraft, you know how to play, like, this game. It's not super complicated. Now, what I do need to do, because I've not done creative before, is that I need to give ourselves some stuff. Let's see, survival tool. Is that what I want? How do I do this? Um, I forgot. I don't know what I'm doing here, honestly. Let's see, if I go to here, I think I can, like, make things and, like, just, like, spawn ships and stuff, honestly. So I'm just gonna go outside because I think that I can just spawn the ships just outside. I do need to go outside, of course, to do that. Um, yeah, I could also just go to the cruiser and fly around and show you the world, but I did want to show you some of this stuff as well. Let's just go out to this clearing. Um, I know I'm hitting tab, by the way, and then there's like all these different menus. I believe, yeah, I had some stuff on here that I downloaded a long time ago. Like the Firefly model from the show Firefly. <laughs> you can go check that out. It's pretty sweet. It's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. They did a pretty nice job with some of these models. I'll show off some of the ones. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just show off some of the models so you guys can get a good idea about this. Um, and then is it J for jetpack? It is. Okay, I got a jetpack going right now. Yeah. Oh, because it's on survival mode? Oh, sweet. I can just keep on doing this. So you can get an idea of the outside space on this. That's the cockpit in there. Let's go down and see what it actually looks like from the inside, though, huh? Oh, look, there's a little, little door here. Isn't there supposed to be, like, a little pad here? Um, like, with, like, a little ship that comes off of it. It's, like... That's where Inara is in Firefly. Isn't that her name? Inara, the um, prostitute. Oh man, are you serious? I can't climb that. Okay, whatever. I 
think it's having to do something with the flatness of the ground. It's not liking that we're not on flat ground. So if I go up here, is this, yeah, this is the sleeping quarters and the like the main area. I mean, it's pretty good, right? I mean, if you want to role play with some friends in a Firefly ship, this is not the worst option. Oh, look at that! There's like a little engine room. I don't think that that's actually accurate. I don't think that there's supposed to be an engine thing in the Serenity ship. God, this is so annoying. How it's like having a hard time with the flat not being on a flat surface so you yeah you can go up to like the ships like here and then you can take charge at these uh little seats what's this that's kind of interesting i think they take some creative liberties with this as well like they just put kind of stuff down to help it look a little bit better but if we pilot the ship um how do we do this again i've forgotten the exact controls um, no, let's see, not connected by a logistics network. I'm gonna have to just check the controls really quick, I'm sorry. Gotta need a minute here. Um, I just need to remember how to turn on the vehicle. <laughs> Honestly. Because <laughs> I know the controls are not that hard, and I could probably figure out the controls once I do it. I just need to know how to get to that menu. Um, not the mouse I'm looking for, it's the keyboard. Why did I not see it? Jetpack open use is probably like control panel, right? Main power switch is actually why. There, oop, never mind. So Y turns on the power here. That's not the engines. That's just the power. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been so so long since I've played this game. I might just pause it for a second and figure out these controls. Yeah, just give me a second. I'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, so I think I figured it out. It's that we... Um, this vehicle, for whatever reason, can't actually lift off, I don't think. Because I'm trying to right now. And it's just not going anywhere. You can kind of see in the lower right hand sc uh, screen, you can kind of see how I'm thrusting a little bit. But it's just not going anywhere. So I don't think that we can actually um, control this, unfortunately, using that. Um, geez. <laughs> Controls, come on. I've forgotten how I... Oh my god, look, I'm like flying. Oh, I'm just like going through the walls now. Okay, I think G turns in god mode flying around. Okay, let's fly over to this other ship because I'm pretty sure we can pilot that then. Um, it's kind of weird. It's telling me a little bit about it. How did I do the camera again? It's one of these buttons here. Is that it? Yeah. So that was that was C or that was V. Okay, V gives you the different camera. I like going first person. Okay, so let's take the ship that by the way you can build all of these ships like piece by piece. All of these little squares you can build them. I might show that off a little bit in in game in just a minute. Yeah look I'm like lifting off with shift that was like super quick and easy. So we can actually fly around with this uh, ship here. We can kind of rotate it around. I'm using basically um, WASD to um, turn and whatnot. It's I, I I like the lead dangerous controls more, but this kind of works. So this capital ship, I think there's too much gravity here for it to really be able to do anything. So if you want a capital ship, I think what we need to do is we need to go to space. So we're gonna take this ship. And we're gonna get out into orbit. Kinda of hard to see the orbit right now, but let's just get the planet back into perspective so you can kind of see it. Yeah, there's the, the planet just below us where we were. It's like somewhere around there. Okay, let's scroll this way up and actually get out of atmosphere. So I think we're just about out of atmosphere if you look 
Yep. Okay, we're out of atmosphere. It's a little bit of a sudden jump in this game. It doesn't do a particularly smooth job of jumping between the planets. But we've got our... I haven't really done much of the space exploration, but we've got this planet here, it looks like. Yeah. And... Got a little ring, it looks like, that it doesn't have a, man, a moon. It's got, like, a bunch of stuff. Um, I believe we can navigate through space as well. It does give you a 3D map talking about, like, oh, look, there's an arid orbit right there, and there's a temperate orbit right here. So I think that you can then jump between, like, planets and stuff. System info, there's this and that. There's not very much going on here. Huh, this sector. I haven't really played with sectors. Okay, so there's this uh, temperate planet that we're kind of just flying around. Creative library. Is that what I think it is? Is that the, um, the space location? Can I set that as like a destination? Or something? Maybe like, hey, can I go there? The MS Titan. Add map marker. Okay, so if I hit right point, then I can say waypoint. Um, and you can remove that on approach as well. Let's go find that, right? Okay, I can see it on my map in the upper right hand corner. Let's see, where are you? Oh, you're over there? Okay, well, I'll just go around the planet. It's fine. Again, going pretty fast. I don't know, this, okay, we are sprinting right now, right? Yeah, it doesn't really go much, much faster than how, is, how fast it's going. It's going to take us a little while to get to the MS Titan. Is that a ship? I feel like that's a ship, the MS Titan. I think it's by the Creative Library, which is like the common area or whatever. Let's just go as fast as the game will let me, basically. I really do like this game. It's pretty cool aesthetic. It doesn't look very good. The combat is not my favorite. But it's really cool in the building and the stuff that you can build. And it's kind of cool how it also makes you do like uh, resource management. I like games that make me manage like oxygen and power. It's kind of weird, some of the nuances, but I did want to kind of show off just um, the basic build and that they, there's some pretty cool stuff that people have built. Um, while we're out here, I would like to just show off some of those things. They can kind of check it out. Okay, yeah, check this out. The MS Titan in the Creative Library. Okay, uh, let's slow it down. Ah, flying past them. Too much inertia. Yeah, this game like has like inertia and whatnot. I mean, I don't like the flight controls, but it's kind of cool in that regard. So there's a rapier there and the Creative Commons. I know there's a way to like dock on this, but I've forgotten exactly how it works. I think it's... Ah. I think there's like an actual proper dock somewhere in here. Yeah. Oh wow, it's actually upside down. <laughs> That's kind of cool. They did a good job with that. If I think this has simulated gravity, so if I turn off my engines, I think I'll come crashing down. Maybe not. No, it does not look like that is the case. Okay, so I'm just going to leave my ship there then. Or, no, it, it does have simulated gravity, it's just not affecting it. Okay, uh, let's turn on my jetpacks then. I'm curious how far away I need to be to get that gravity. I initialize first stop of the ship. Well, I honestly, I just kind of want to be landed. That was weird. It, like... Is that landing gear deployed or something? What was that engine noise? Let's turn that off. And so we've got the rapier as well here, which is kind of a nice looking ship. It's definitely not from any TV shows or anything. Um, let's just go down here. Let's turn off the jetpack too, so we can actually walk around. Oh, wait, what? You're new. You were not in the game last time I played. I had seen that there was aliens, but not humans. Where are the aliens? There's an alien. Hello. I can't sit with you? Aw. It's a shame. That is so weird. Okay, I don't like the people. They're like very disturbing. 
their portions are just all off. <laughs> right? Or is it just me? Let's have a look-see. What is down here? Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. I like it. They did a nice job designing the space. Um, I think I'm gonna have to do god mode to get out of here though. Ah! Okay, this is, must be like the engine room or something. Constructor? Yeah, constructor. Okay, they do have an elevator here actually. What are you? Gravity generator. Oh, this is the gravity generator all the way at the bottom. That makes sense. Pulls everything down towards it. Okay, I'm gonna god mode my way out of the wall. Boom. <laughs> oh no, I started falling there. <laughs> so, I'm, oh, because I'm near the gravity generator, it's pulling me downwards, right? Oh, so there's gravity here. I wonder if, how far away do I need to be for the gravity to stop pulling me down? Okay, now there's no more gravity. I just had that inertia from earlier. Okay, well, let's get back up there. Let's get... <laughs> Wait, what? What just happened? Uh, that's... Can I... Why is this... Okay, there we go. I think... I think we're getting better? We're getting closer to that, okay. This is taking a lot longer. Okay, we are in god mode right now. I think that the gravity just kind of pulled us down really fast, and so we just cover long distance really, really quickly. So if I turn off god mode here, I am still falling. There's some... That gravity is pretty powerful, actually. Pretty crazy stuff. Okay, well, let's um not get sucked away. Let's open up the hangar door and go into this ship. I'm curious because this is a ship actually designed for the game. Um, right off the jetpack. I think it might actually have its own gravity. Ah! Oh my god, a little loading bay for it. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's have a look at the Titan here. The Titan. Oh man, someone did a really nice job designing that. That's pretty cool. The quarters. Just a lot of quarters, is that what these all are? Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, fill your ship up with some bedroom. Oh, what? There's a little access way. Oh, that is so cool. No, 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 no. Don't fly <laughs> down. It's weird that it's pulling us down so strongly. I don't understand. It must be their gravity generator, right? There's a little walkway, it looks like, only on the bottom of these these options. Let's, uh, let's just go back indoors. I'm not looking to fall into infinity and beyond. Man, this is pretty cool. I did want to show you the Battlestar one. I remember exploring that, like, forever ago and being impressed by it. Like, quite a bit impressed. Um... Let's see, I'm just kind of curious if I fly through here, where do I get? And I'm just going to fly forward or backwards, never mind. I'm flying to the back. Or is that the back? I don't know. No, is that the front? That's the front. Right? Where's the deck? Can you see where my, my deck is for the ship? Is it? Oh, the it's like a bridge. I I got it. I got it. I got it here. Okay. So this must be the the bridge that you must uh, command the ship from, then, huh? Yeah. This is this is totally it. Yep. Yeah, and look, I can actually fly this thing around. It's just uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get my controller out, my Xbox controller, just to see. Does that work with this? No. It does not. It does not recognize the controller. That is a shame because this is a game that would definitely benefit from from that. Oh look, there's the uh, creative library. Ammo missing. Missing. <laughs> oh, 
That is a shame. I can't fire at the library. Okay, uh, you know what? We stop the shit and ship and exit the cockpit. Uh, if I hit Y, okay, so it's dead. It's not going anywhere. I'm just curious about how the gravity situation works on here now. So yeah, there's no gravity. So without my jetpack, I can't move. Okay, so um, huh. I'm just gonna go God mode and go outside the ship. Turn off my jetpack. Yeah, so that gravity of the ship was looks like that was pulling me down earlier. It's like here. If there, I don't have the jetpack, so I can't move. Okay, well, that was kind of cool. I definitely enjoyed checking out the Titan there. Um, let's go ahead and spawn in another couple ships, though. The Battlestar, does that, is it like size class? It's too big. Um, it's not too big. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, this is going to be awesome. We're going to go up there. We're going to check out this battle starship. It's so big. Look at this thing. These parts are all massive, by the way. If you actually get close to them. Like, this ship is monstrous. Whoever designed it. They spent a long time. And it actually is super, super detailed. And it's got even the areas for you to like dock your ships and everything. Oh man, it's pretty cool. Let's, let's show it off, yeah. A 10 by 5. That is a huge hangar door, right? I wouldn't mind trying to do some like role playing. I would need to get better at the game. But I wouldn't mind trying to do some role playing with people around um, having like raptors and stuff. <laughs> In here. So kind of weird it's like oh geez yeah whatever um i know there is a way into the building from here i'm just not seeing it where is it it looks like it must be through here right no is there not actually a way to get from there to here not like It's not like an abomination. It's just breaking the game. It's weird. This ship does not seem to have enough gravity field to pull me down. Uh, this looks like it's an, an, an exit, but it isn't. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just get into the main compartment of the ship. From what I remember, there is uh, some good like rooms in here. Maybe I'm thinking of the other ship, though. This one does not seem to have... It seems to be mostly just like block that you can't really explore yeah i don't know this one's not the one that i thought it was I mean, it's massive and it's really cool on the outside but not really that great on the inside oh look there's there's some space here we go that's what i'm talking about why is this letting me go through here like that Okay, look, I'm not in god mode anymore. Good. I can fly around like a mortal. Oh, it's a clone chamber? Oh, crazy. Okay. Um, let's run through the ship and... I don't remember this part from Battlestar Galactica is all I'm saying. The hydroponic station. Oh, that's the capital ship controls. That's weird. That That doesn't seem right. How do you get in here? Normally. Very confused. Yeah, I don't think this is the one that I ended up really liking. And this is definitely a way. Like a little hallway. This does not look very Balsar galactic -y. The one that I really like is the Rasa Naughty -Not design that somebody did. That one's a pretty good one. This is okay. This actually does have like little hallways and stuff. It looks like most of the ways to navigate, though, are kind of like these little stairwells. Oh, look, here's um, a hangar here. 
Oh, look, and it's got the little raptor bay as well. Oh, so this wasn't actually... You can't go through here. You gotta go all the way back here to the little raptor bay. I gotcha. I gotcha. And then this wasn't a way out. Was, ah. Right here. Yeah, okay. I got it. Okay. Is there another one actually like that? Oh, sorry. If I go all the way over here, was there another one like that? There was! Look at that! It's just really hard to see. It's like impossible to see. Okay. I mean, it's it's impressive, you know, still, in of itself, even if it is a little bit hard to navigate. It's impressive that someone built that much space and like the hangars and all that. What's this? Like a higher up part of the hangar or something? Come on, jetpacks. I believe in you. This seems to be like it's going really high up, right? Oh. Ah. What is going on? Okay. There we go. Yeah, this is all kinds of crazy. Look at that. That is a crazy little device. That must be like the generator or something. It's like a rave. <laughs> okay, let's let's get out of here. Whoa. Look at that room that we just went through. By the engines? Engines? Yeah, by the engines. Okay, let's see. Let's try How's the battle star? The um this is this is super cool. These ones I, I remember liking quite a bit. There was some really good tachis. Um, there's one that was designed more that was like the gravity um, was oriented um, properly. Like this one, yes. This one is oriented properly, so if you look like the front of the ship is like the top, it like actually matches the design of actual spaceships and how astronauts sit. Um, so if we... Am I in god mode or not? Yeah, okay, I think I was in god mode. Okay, and then this is jetpack mode. So if I look here, passenger seat not activated. Okay, let's look up and maybe fly up a little bit then, so that we can get actually up to the control panel. I think. Uh, car cargo box? No, that's not what we're looking for. This is a little bit disorienting. Is that it? That's not the controls, no. Okay, let's uh... Let's turn off... Oh, what? what did it, where did I just go? <laughs> oh god. You know, all kinds of turned around. I think we want to go down. And this is the fuel tanks. Okay, this is where we came in, but that's the passenger seat. That's not what I want. Let's go out from here. Are there any other ins and outs? That's a thruster. I think that there's... I'm just not seeing the, the main way in and out right now. So that's the turret. Is it only that one entrance by the passenger? That how it works? No, there's also this right here. This I think is the bridge, right? That must be the bridge. Come on, get in there. There we go. Ah. It's a passenger seat, is it really? Passenger seat, yeah, these are passengers. Oh, capital, there we go. I'm piloting it. I mean, apparently it's on. Okay. So if it's on now, if I turn off my jetpack, yes, I can actually walk around properly now, kind of. But where am I? Ah, 
I spawned in somewhere that I wasn't supposed to spawn in. Okay, god mode. <laughs> um, here we go. Okay, no more god mode. And let's get the jetpack on because apparently the gravity thing pulls us down out here. Yeah, I don't like how that happens. It makes it very difficult to navigate these actual enclosures. Okay, so now we're actually in the ship and it's behaving properly. Um, we can actually go up and pilot. Um, what was it? Was it V? Yes, V. So I can strafe it looks like and roll a little bit. Man, this thing is a slow turner though. It's uh, getting going fast, but it is seriously a very slow turner. I'm trying to turn its nose right now. It's not turning. <laughs> Man. Do you at least go fast? That's my question. Stop the ship to exit the cockpit. Are we? How do we get zero momentum? My maximum speed is one meter per second. Okay, this thing's not going anywhere. Please stop the ship to. How do I stop it? I don't know how to stop it. Okay, I don't think we stopped it. I think it's continuing to move. Maybe not. Didn't get very far. <laughs> um, yeah, we are actually just over half an hour, but I gotta I gotta show you a Millennium Falcon. If you want to see the other versions of those other ships, I'd be down too. And the other ships from other media, if you'd like to see how they tried to represent that in here, they did a really good job with some of them. Like, there's some really cool things that people have modded in. To this game. Um, I'm just gonna put myself right down here. Hello. Um, weirdly floating through here. I don't know if they're stuck or what. I think they are. Yep, here we go. Um, can I walk around? I don't know. You're not gonna let me walk around. I think that I'm like stuck in the ground, but I'm not really 100% sure. Yeah, let's just maybe go in god mode and get out of the vehicle and then re-enter. Um, I think isn't there supposed to be like a way in the bottom into the ship? Isn't that how they get in? In the movies? There's like a little door thing like right here. Isn't that it? It's sworn that's it. Hmm. Maybe I should study these ships more before I try and show them off. <laughs> uh, let's try and turn off god mode. Nope, that didn't work. I tried. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it one more go, try and find the entrance to this place, and if I can't find it, I'm out. Um, let's see. Oh, look, here we go. I was just looking on the wrong side. That looks a bit... Ah! Come on. Turn off that. Okay, cool-ish. Am I sideways in the Millennium Falcon? We're sideways in the Millennium Falcon. That's not gonna work. I mean, this one actually is probably one of the best recreations in terms of the actual 3D space. But I think that's because we also have a really good idea of what the Millennium Falcon set looked like. And there's other things like the Serenity ship. Like, we don't really have a good layout idea for some of the other sci-fi ships. As, as good, at least. But you can see, it's like, oh look, that's where R2 was hidden in. No. <laughs> It's kind of hard to navigate that much, but I mean, it does feel familiar to me, you know? There's definitely an odd sense of familiarity to the Star Wars ship, even with all the weird colors and whatnot. Oh, look, and the, there's the little turret gun. Okay, 
I think that this is a pretty good point for us to end this, is with me glitching through the walls of the Millennium Falcon. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.